Welcome to Sewers and Shurikens. I'm your host and Dungeon Master, Wyatt Norman. SNS is a radical 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons podcast. We join our reptilian heroes in a magically altered New York, full of peril, ninjas, and pizza. Turtles, roll call. Ralph here. I play Valentino the Sea Turtle. Let's get in on these waves, bro! Hey, it's Cicada. I play as Boche, a snapping turtle. In the wild, I'd probably be eating worms, but uh, here in the sewers, I can have all the pizza my heart desires. Hey there, my name is Cole, or Matisse the Bard, and I just hope I don't die this game. So before we start, if you guys enjoy the podcast and have the time to tweet at us, email us, or rate us on your app of choice, we'd love to hear from you and super appreciate it. Welcome back, bros. In the last part... I came up with the genius plan to uh, infiltrate Riker's prisons as trees gone. We're a, we're a professional tree removal company, subcontracted for the city. We're gonna uh, we're gonna use that as a as a ploy to get us in, and then hopefully we can break out our little buddy Ian. It's already uh, halfway through, but let's see. Yeah, you're in your new prison uniform. You got your taser. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna lock up to the uh, the guard in the in the washroom. He's got that sign on the front door it says "Sorry, bad poops." You don't. You don't have any way to lock it, other than the fact that anybody going in just has to have a key card to get in. But you can't use the key card to lock it from other people. But you did have the like. There's a key card that you have like, to swipe. Then right. Yeah. I'm just gonna casually booty bump that and crush the shit out of it. I guess roll. Athletics? Roll to crush? Yeah. Roll to booty bump. 18. You have a turtle shell, so it's probably not too hard. Yeah, yeah, you crush it. It's pretty smushed. Okay, and then I walk back to join my friends. And just reminding you guys, you have about 30 minutes before the charm wears off on the on that guy. I, uh, I, as I'm walking, I use my bandana of conversation to chat with my team. Um... Hey, look, guys, uh, I dealt with the guard, but we're going to have to deal with Randy or he's going to know something's up. <laughs> You're like heading back in his uniform. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm going to chime in on our conversational headbands to Matisse. I think maybe you should knock him out. Guys, um, we could also get to possess him. Yeah, we could... That seems more of a chaotic choice. I like the chaotic choice, personally. Do we have any way to lock up Randy? It's his birthday, I don't want to hurt him. I mean, we can just... I have to talk quietly, guys, because I'm... No, you know... it's psychic, it's psychic conversation. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> I was moving my, my mouth the whole psychic, time. Though. As I as I walk past Randy's the guard like, tower, I give him a little a little signal, a little what's up, and I keep going. Little wink. Little well, head nod. We can just throw them in All the, the van and lock like it up. All the guards kind of tip their hat to you. Little the little ones kiss. that were like doing patrols. And then you also see Valentino, the, the the patrol that was bringing like six kids to the field. And now the kids are like playing in the field. Like a some form of baseball in that one. Oh, they're like outside of the kids' prison? Yeah, they're in... You see to the left of the watchtower, there's a fenced in like yard. They're in that one. And for those that don't have a map in front of them, the watchtower is at the top of the top of the island. Can I psychically send like uh like an image? Like I'm gonna say no because I feel like that would make it too strong of a power. magic item. Okay, I'm just gonna like sort of describe Ian to uh, Valentino. Um, roll performance. Okay. And then say your description. I'll say if it was enough. Um, it's only 12. Okay. Let's hear a real good description then. Okay, let me think. <laughs> I haven't given this much thought. Okay, he's about 5 foot 4. Probably weighs about 100 pounds. He's a little on the skinnier side. Um, a little bit snivelly. His nose is like a little bit upturned, you know? Sort of sloping. Um... His eyes are brown. His hair is brown, but a sort of grayish, mousy brown. Um, he kind of has a bit of like some buck teeth, like a little bit of an overbite, and his eyebrows are really bushy. 
Okay, then I'm, I'm going to do a okay. perception check to see if I can spot anything that looks like that in the field. Okay, and with that perce- with that description, I'd say you have advantage on it. That was a pretty good description. Oh, thank you. And he talks like this. Yeah, she talks like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 16. <laughs> yeah, you spot Ian. He's like, they're bas- like, they're all playing baseball on the field, but like, two of the kids are just throwing the ball at him. <laughs> And you think they're like he's trying to catch it or something, but no, he doesn't have like a mitt or anything. Wait, bros, yeah. I see him here. They're he, they're having a lot of fun in there. I think. <laughs> wow, I sort of got the impression maybe they didn't like him. No, it looks like they're all playing along with him. <laughs> so good to know. He's like crying. Now, please. So that means that like he is between, or or we're between the field and the kids' prison, then, right? So he is. To, like come back to get to the prison yeah pretty much but you don't know how long the yard time's gonna be okay bros i'm gonna wait here and uh you guys get back in that van we're gonna catch him on our way out wow Wait, we're not swimming anymore no we'll just drive okay okay that sounds good i'm going okay. back to the van then um do i know exactly where valentino is i mean i can tell no. you where are you friend we're going to catch him on his way back to the kid's prison. There is multiple gates. So as you head back to, like, where the van is, you can kind of see where he is at that point. Like, in the kind of in the middle of the path. I want to give... Your, Valentino's probably smoking one of the cigarettes, trying to blend in. Yeah, they're really old and stale. Mmm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Valentino, you should temporarily have, like, a smoker's voice. But it's got to be still a surfer smoker. <laughs> right, but oh, well, that's not going to be an issue. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to see you pull that off, and I love it. <laughs> okay, so um, at this point, Randy's like, where did they really... I think he's kind of past his break time. I don't want to be one to, you know, tell the boss, but we're supposed to have 30-minute breaks. Yeah, should be back soon. He's kind of getting close to that mark now. Uh-oh. Okay, well, I'm just heading like, back in the van. I'm gonna, like, sort of... Look, I, Matisse, can I talk to you for a second? taking any of the trees? Yeah, you know, I'm... I gotta talk to Matisse. I gotta make a plan, okay? I mean, not Matisse. Whoever this is. My business partner. I don't know his name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so Matisse, who has said nothing this entire time, while just beside Randy, <laughs> gets in the van... <laughs> Oh, I have to talk to you, dude. We gotta knock Randy out. We gotta do something to him. And just so you know, when you get in the van, you see Flush has, like, completely soaked Drew. And Drew's just, like, punching him, but it's, like, going through him. I feel like we shouldn't have left him alone. You sick son of a bitch! (laughs) (laughs) Gotta eat me again, you fuck! Well, we'll deal with this later, guys. The The van's, like, shaking and Randy thinks nothing of it. Yeah, and he's they, like, ah, oh, classic. Fans are rocking. Hit him over the head. Don't come knocking. Maybe if you distract him, I can hit him with a shovel. Okay. Happy birthday, clang. <laughs> okay. Hey, why I'm did you do that to, to the birthday boy? Hey, Randy. Since it's your birthday, I'm gonna do this dance for you. <laughs> Watch close. Oh, really? I mean, aren't you on company time? <laughs> yeah, but clang. I'm gonna hit him. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, roll the hit. <laughs> I love my distractions where like where we don't even wait for him to like react. <laughs> we just Hey look <laughs> What what would a shovel be? Strength or dex? I guess dex. Just just yeah, just roll like a standard attack. Okay. That would be fourteen. Okay, yeah, he's knocked out. Okay, I'm gonna throw him in the back. He's in the back of the van. Violently, I may add, not softly. Wow. You're having a bad wow, day. yeah. Okay. <laughs> How about the small details, guys? Good. Okay, so you can see that, you know, the uh they're playing in the field still. It doesn't look like they're stopping anytime soon. They're about halfway through their game. It's been about thirty five minutes since you uh did that with the the front gate. Um, a charm. Okay, so are we all back together now? We've kind of just abandoned Randy in the field. 
now we get back in the van and we're like ready to like drive out of there uh right randy's knocked um, out in the van you guys are in there the whole van is dripping wet um how are we gonna yeah. get out of the gates though i could go on the pa and say he's still charmed he's still charmed. um okay yeah he'll just let us back through <laughs> okay, okay what's what's my officer's name uh your the officer the uniform oh i forget what his name what i said his name was it was like i think it was like Flinger friday or something. or something similar to that yeah his name's friday no actually his <laughs> name is wednesday <laughs> it was close to that Private Wednesday. Private Wednesday. It's now Wednesday. Okay. Okay, so I, I Private Wednesday hops on the phone or on the on the radio and he's he's like, Hey, we got a bit of a situation. Uh there's a lot of commotion going on in the kids' prison. We're gonna have to lock it down, send everybody back. Uh I'm gonna escort the uh the, the tree gons out of the out of the compound. So smart. Yeah. Uh sorry, who is this? Officer this is Officer Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> okay, copy that Wednesday. Thursday's on his way, and we'll <laughs> lock her down. Roger, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> Two guards Thursday and Friday <laughs> come over. <laughs> Escorting the kids back. <laughs> and a couple of guards from inside the kids' prison. They're all, like, locking it down. Yeah, we better uh, go get those kids out of the field. We don't want them joining this. Yeah. So there's, like, five guards that have now joined up together, and they're going to... It's probably like five guards Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I'll go over to the <laughs> the field, and the two guards that were there escorting the the kids Saturday, Sunday, they join up with yeah, them. I'll I'll take. They get the kids. I'll escort Ian. <laughs> <laughs> There's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They're all there. <laughs> Friday or sorry, Wednesday, which is Valentino, decides to escort Ian, which you quickly you know see and he's all bruised up and uh so yeah you're all escorting him towards the kids prison and you guys are like in a clump all right i don't want any funny business out of you you scrawny little twerp let's get back to safety and then you hear uh through your guys's radios like no worry on that breach on the kids prison uh the weekdays got it <laughs> uh so valentino you like coming toward the fence with him or like what like how can yeah, they yeah. help you That's we're cute. gonna we're gonna walk towards i'm gonna kind of like slowly make my way to the back of the group so that you can just kind of like do a drive-by Smart. kidnapping okay i'm gonna pull up oh this is gonna thing. be a, some high rolls yeah. i hope you guys know that i'm gonna give well i guess i can't see valentino now i have bardic inspiration you can see on, him. The, on the ready i would uh, assume that like you have two i guess no because if you you can see him through the window probably yeah okay I'm just got to check the range on that, so so just say what you were gonna do. Oh me, um, I don't know. I'm not actually driving the van, so I can't do much. I'm just gonna sit in the back with my shears by the door. I'm ready to open the door. And <laughs> That's your go-to you. weapon. Okay. Who is driving? I guess I'll Matisse? drive Matisse with drives, with yeah. Drew underneath, pressing the pedal. <laughs> <laughs> Unless Drew's I can know how to drive. Hey, watch your foot, fucker! Okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to the back of the group, wait for the van to pull up. The vandals will be like waiting, and then. Uh, okay, first I'm gonna ask for you to kind of roll a stealth to see if you can kind of like slowly break off a little bit to get to the back casually. Uh, eighteen. Okay, yeah, you do. Ian's not resisting at all. He's a little bitch boy. Okay, ouch. <laughs> Very close, you guys. Okay, so you guys try to do a drive-by? How, like, tell me this. Set the scene for me. Wait, but is Valentino within 60 feet? at this point. Yeah, I'd say he's within 60 feet. Okay, uh, I believe I can do this at the same time. I'm, I'm going to give Bosch and Valentino a Bardic Inspiration die. Okay. And then that's all my uses for the day for that. So you guys can, within the next 10 minutes, you guys can add a D6 to whatever roll you want. Oh, that's so Um... Okay, so you're no. kind of like, you're near the, the front entrance of the kid's prison. And the, like, basically the first, the kid that's like first in line is being shuffled in with Monday. And then Monday's a bit of a drag, but finally gets to Tuesday. <laughs> and they get him through. <laughs> and then, you know, Wednesday. Wednesday's right in the back. They're like, 
Wednesday's right in the back. They're like, oh, we're supposed to, guys, we're supposed to go Monday, it's Tuesday, Wednesday. Morning. We've been over this. Sorry, sorry, my, my little right. shit's causing me a lot of trouble. I'll be there. Okay, yeah, go ahead, Thursday. So they go through. They're, uh, Sunday's about to go through, meaning you're next. What do you guys do? Yeah, I believe we're gonna sort of pull up so that the back doors of the van are open, are close to the gates. Okay. Valentino hops in. We with also pass really with Randy. Randy in the back. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. No, let's he's fine. He's, he's, he's out. Just capture we'll, him. We'll, we'll just I'm... place him in an alleyway when so somewhere we'll, later. We'll do a quick swap. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Slap <laughs> Wednesday's name tag on him and throw him out. So who's going to be grabbing Valentino and Ian? I, or oh, I'm going. I'm going to bolt right in. I'm going to. I'm going to do Ian. a 180. Do a 180 like football tackle with Ian into the van. Okay, I'm guys. Just close the doors after them. Uh, roll. I'm gonna ask a athletics and then an acrobatics to kind of like flip around into the van with him. Okay, I got athletics is a 13. Okay, you're able to tackle him. He's pretty weak. And then acrobatics is 21. Oh. Yeah, you know what? You you definitely do it. Oh so you're in the back. Nice. Floor it, bros! Roll Floor eight. it! Ra- roll a sleight of hand to quickly get those doors closed. Me? Dump Randy! Dump Randy! Yeah. Oh, it's a 15? Toss him out. It's a witch? A 15? Okay, yeah, you get them closed. Oh, okay. So they'll slam, and Sunday turns around, and he's like, it's not Friday yet! What are you doing? <laughs> like, get in the... What's what's going on hey, here? Just Tree's drive, gone. Drive, drive. Right over the P- PA system. On the radio. You can hear this, Valentino, because you're you got one still. Yeah, so let's just say Wednesday was a little rougher for the week. Uh lock down the prison. Oh, we're, we're already halfway through. So, yeah, you're you're through the first checkpoint when this is like finished being said. Oh. The checkpoint lets you through easily because he's already seen you guys come. Um so you're heading across the bridge and you Fuck to the hear like guy. Yeah, the, the charmed guy. Yeah, you pull through. up to the. Ch- we have to get through the first one. You pull up to the charmed guy, but you do hear sirens in the distance. <sighs> We've been in a car chase before, guys, and you know what? We were fine. He's like, "Oh, hey, guys! I heard uh, it's been a rough week. I heard don't yeah. worry about your papers." And he lets you through. Thank you. Um, have a have a good one. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. for sure. Thanks, friend. Bye. Make Say sure you uh. To Randy for me. Oh right, yeah. I'll go- don't worry about it. And he opens it, lets you through, locks it again. Okay, drive. And drive. he's gonna be pissed and You see minutes. the homeless guys like peering at you through the darkness <laughs> with his glowing Eating eyes. His so you guys drive. Um do you go left or right on the first um street? coming off the bridge? Or, yeah. Go left. <sighs> okay. That's the right direction. So you go left. Uh you can hear this the sirens are like some have parked at the bridge, like, investigating. Uh, some are, like, in front of you, but you, they, you, they don't know exactly where you're at. They're just, like, trying to locate you guys. So the, the city's kind of out of frantic right now. And then on his computer, you know, Flash is like, breaking news, like, escapees from Rikers oh, Prison. Shit. And it's like, it's Rachel being like, yeah, so I guess... Things are pretty crazy here on the prison. Please remain in your house, off the roads, and lock your doors. Wait. Should be okay, but... Is that Rachel? And then, you know, the the news ends. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna say... Are you trying to go fast? Like, what are you trying to do to get back to the sewers? What am I doing? Yeah, because you're driving. Well, at this point, I'm, I'm just gonna let Drew drive now that we don't have to be secretive anymore, if that's okay. Okay, so... Let's see how good of a driver Drew is going to be this time. Not good. So he accidentally goes down like a dead end. Oh, idiot! And as he's <laughs> as he's like turning <laughs> around, you know, there's a there's a cop car. Like you guys are stuck in an alley at this point. <coughs> the car like pulls up. No. What do you guys do? How many cops are there? There's two. And they're getting out, and they're like, "All right, get out of the tr- get out of the van." Valentino gets out, still in the guard uniform. 
Okay. You get out in the guard uniform. I'm getting out with hey. the Hey! <laughs> hey, it's me, <laughs> it's out. me. All good. I got my hands up. It's, uh, yeah, there was, that was quite the, the biggie. Uh, I, I keep walking towards them. That could have been so hey, much worse than where it you was. are. Oh, sorry, stay man. where you are. Where am I supposed to stay? Right there. I'm going to cast Why Charm Person. On which one? Wait, there's two of them? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can use it as a second level and try and do it on both. You could. I don't see a better, I mean, I have, yeah, let's just try that. Unless Valentino wants to explain this. <laughs> Unless he's feeling confident. <laughs> I think you should try to charm him. He though. has been rolling pretty high, though. Valentino's always ready. Here, I'll let this play out, and if they pull out their guns, I'll charm them. Yeah, they've got like their hands on on their guns right now, but they haven't pulled it up. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to cast a spell if they raise their guns or anything like that. Okay. Let's let's just see how so this plays out. You're gonna hold your action until they do that. Yeah. And at this point, you do hear like sirens getting closer, like a second cop car is gonna pop out. So you're gonna say what, Valentino? Yeah, Bardic Inspiration. Like, alright, what would a guard be doing with this getaway van? I don't know. I just had to make What's sure that the trees gone were safe. It, it got really nasty in there, and somebody, like, tried to break somebody out of the prison? It was pretty bad. Uh, roll Deception. Dirty 20. Wow. Oof. Okay, that checks out. Um, we'll, we'll escort you back. They sh- we'll send... We'll drive them back if you want to uh, get in, and then we'll drive you back to the prison if you want. No, actually, I need this guard. We've really bonded, you know, over this well, car ride, him breaking us no, out. And, I, uh, listen, no, I'm not going to sleep with you. You said him I... breaking us out. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, escorting so... us, escorting us. Sorry. Wait a second. Oh, no, that completely ruined this. that 20. Guys, if you could take me back to the prison, it'd be great. These guys don't need to go, but I do need to get back. My 30 minutes is almost up, you know? Okay, you sure you guys are going to be okay driving back yourself? I mean, there is apparently an escapee out. I don't know if you heard. I think we'll be fine. Okay, yeah, so you guys we'll be get good. in. And um, you get in the... Well, you have to kind of get in the back of the police car, but you're in there. Is it one of the ones that's, like, guarded, like, locked? Yeah. And um, you guys are headed back. At this point, like, you can kind of... You've gotten to the back to the sewer as they're, like, probably, like, five minutes out from the prison. So how long have you been working for the prison? Oh, uh, since Wednesday. That's what. That's kind of how they name us, you know, based on what. Oh, day. really? Oh, wow. That's how they yeah. name us. Pretty, pretty new job. Okay, right on. Well, no, I mean it's yeah it's Wednesday about fourteen years ago. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, we worked with a lot of. We worked pretty closely with the prison. We just haven't seen you. So yeah. there used to be another guy named Wednesday. So yeah, the sh- the those. shifts are weird for sure. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. So you get you're at the bridge at the checkpoint. Is it okay if I just make a quick phone call? Oh yeah, for sure. Go ahead. Like I, we don't okay. care. I mean, clearly you're a man of the law. Yeah. No, I just I wasn't sure. I don't know what they got in these cars. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what? You just hear me roll? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call Rachel. What? Okay, you call Rachel. Uh, hello. Hey, wait, what phone what's... do you call her on? I call her on my phone. Okay. Hey, hey hon, how's it going? Um, I listen, I don't know if you're going to get this uh, you know, fully, but I, there's listen, there's a lot of news and it's going to be in the prison. Okay. I mean, I there's a lot going on the with the prison. Tip. There's yeah, well, there's going to be there's a lot going on with the prison right now, but there's going to be something important in the prison. Okay, I'll uh, get a a news group over there soon. Could I get your name in case we have any further questions? Wednesday. Wednesday, okay. Right. Okay. You said Wednesday, right? Yeah, I did. Of course. I misheard that. Okay, right. Okay. Yeah, we'll uh, head over there soon. Thanks for the tip. Any Anytime, babe. And she hangs up. This isn't a stolen She hangs phone. up before you say anytime, babe. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, like, get through the checkpoint. You're now, like, back at the prison. Uh, alarms are still going off, but, you know, the police leave, so you, you're just, like, there. Uh, most of the guards you can see are, like, headed towards the the kid's prison to investigate. And then you can, you can, um, see there's, like, the, a news van that's, like, at the other end of the bridge on their way over. 
So what do you do? Do you head towards where the guards are? Or? I'm going to go check out that field. Okay, so you go over to the field. It's a baseball field. Hey, guys, there's, you see, like, they left the you, balls on the field. I'm going to deal with this, okay? You see, like, Thursday, he's like, uh, I mean, I I guess it's, we're kind of, we're doing a meeting in here. Figure out what's going on. I guess, I guess no, we're I'm just, gonna I'm just cleaning up out here. It's okay. All right. Whatever. Fuck, you should have been fired days ago. <laughs> <laughs> and he, like, joins up with everybody else. So, Wednesday, being a very different day of the week, goes and cleans up the balls. <laughs> Wednesday is very dope. So you're doing that. The news van has, like, parked in the, uh, stat, or the, uh, guest parking. And they've got, like, a news crew that's, like, headed through. So they're, they're coming like, the checkpoint? interviewing some of the, some of the guards at this point. Yeah, they're through the checkpoint. So anyways, I was like, Wednesday, let's go, man. And next thing I knew, he was gone. Okay. I'm, There's a couple I'm, of guards watching over them to make sure they're safe, and then they're just getting interviews. I'm going up to, to, to Rachel with my baseball. Okay, you go up to her with your baseball. This is it. This is what happened, She's Rachel. in the middle of interviewing somebody. <laughs> like, hey, I burst, so... I, I burst right in. It's... The guy's name is Tuesday. Oh, we weren't quite ready for Wednesday yet, but go ahead. Oh, it's... I got... I broke the case. You want to see what this is, bro? It's... It's a baseball, man. C- camera's over here. Oh, sorry. You oh. Where, you, where you weren't looking. Yeah, see this? It's a baseball. I don't know if you guys knew it, but this this is the problem. Oh, what? Sorry, sorry, sir. What you you gave us a tip that you knew what was going on? What what's the baseball for? Oh, the baseball was a distraction. You you saw this with your own eyes? I did, yeah. And you see um the the warden heading over. Warden Holiday. He comes over and Yeah, that'll be enough. I'll take this interview. I saw exactly what happened. There's this yeah, man. Yeah, let's go. Let's let's really make sure they get. We don't need the other guards here. Hey, Wednesday. Yes, don't chief. Don't want me to put you further down the week. I wouldn't so, want to. I mean, it's been it's been years. Wednesday. Yeah. Thinking you a smoke break. I actually had one earlier. It's okay. Right. Thanks. I'll talk to you later about Thanks, that. Thanks, man. So, uh, there's this van. Trees gone. It was a van. Saw it myself. It um didn't. Take any of the trees. They just marked I them did out. Not tell them to come here. They were just preparing. Yeah. Roll deception. <laughs> a three. <laughs> oh no. Fuck. Wednesday. Before I have your name tag, I'd get the fuck out of here. We're trying to have a professional interview. No, s- Nobody leaves a note. Uh, I'm... Listen, the note was. It was a bad time. Okay. I go and I. Anyways, I sit as I was by saying. By the news van. Okay, you're buying the news van. As I was saying this, I was in my office, and I heard somebody coming in, and they, uh, what was his name? Monday? Yeah, he said there was this escapee jumps in the van. One of those, one of those there kids from the kid prison. You know, I don't keep a solid eye on them because they are just juveniles. Don't expect them to be breaking out like those adults, so, uh. He told me they jumped in the back of a tree be gone or some anti tree organization. <laughs> yep. <laughs> tree terrorists, I think. Yep. Who would have guessed? So they uh I don't know how they got through that dang checkpoint. Needless to say, those guys are fired. Oh no. And uh I guess they left. That's when you your uh city folk, city city cops, those soft son of a bitches. They chased after them and I don't know if they're still on the run or or what, but that's about the information we have. I don't really know why this interview needed to take place. <laughs> I think think your focus needs to be on getting these people. And um, she's like, okay, uh, Holiday, Officer Holiday, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Warden. And then the interview kind of like wraps up. She's asking like a couple extra questions off the air and like putting putting stuff down on a notepad. And they're about to head out. So she's like getting in the news van, I, and then this like I kind of very... like stop her on the way before she gets like into the okay. van. You stop her as she's like opening the door to get in. I, I just she's very casually, side. I very casually just like climb into the van, uh, and I I pull out the trident and I set it down in the van and close the door so that she like very obviously sees the trident. Um, right. Roll a stealth. 
with disadvantage because there was a whole news segment going on and ending <laughs> while you were doing this. A five. So you like go to get in and you trip as you like get in, and the warden's like, "God damn it, Wednesday!" You're gonna get fired. What are you doing? Sorry, sir. Get back it's to just your a post. It was a rock. You know what? You know what? I don't want to hear it. We have a whole goddamn escapee going on. I think you should take the day off. Oh, I, yeah, you're right. I should. I'll. I'll just catch a ride back. Uh, it's really been a bad day. Thanks so much, sir. You you didn't drive here, son. I no, you got your license. No, I still have to work on it. I've it's, I've been trying for about fourteen years, though. I'm almost there. I think I might get it on Thursday. Oh, right. Okay. Why don't you get, you Why don't you go get your civilian clothes on so I can wash your uniform for you? Just it's just protocol. No other reason. Long story short, I did get my my civvies a little dirty. It was a cake incident. Oh right. Yeah. That checks out. That really checks out. <laughs> All right. Well, enjoy your off day. I think you earned it. Good job cracking the case. Get the fuck out of here now. All right. But have a good one. Thanks so much, Holiday. Yep. That's Warden Holiday to you. Absolutely, Chief. Yep. That's Warden. But yeah. All right. Fins up, my dude. He walks away. Everybody's like kind of getting back to normal. They're. They're investigating the whole area, but, you know, there's only so much they can do while they're looking for the, the escapees. And, um, you get in the van, I guess. <laughs> they just don't stop me at all? <laughs> yeah, because, that you know, you, you were told to go home. But she's like, uh, ex- excuse me? I appreciate the tip, but unless there's anything else you have to say, we gotta be going now. Yeah, let's just cut out. Okay, yeah, we can drive you and drop you off on the other side of the bridge, but we we... We're not a taxi service. No, that's true. And I'm not a guy with a giant trident. And this is when you whip out your giant trident. <laughs> what girl doesn't love a giant trident? Everybody three loves prongs. a big old three-pronged trident. Three-pronged on. And you whip oh. it out. And she's like, oh, I understand. I, uh, hey, uh, Fred, yeah, let's, why don't you bring us back to the station? I think that's probably the amount of coverage we're going to get. We'll, we'll, tr- we'll, you'll go work on the story, all right? So they drive back. You're at the station that you've been to before. He gets out. She gets in the driver's side. The new news network. New news network. She gets in the driver's side. I assume you get in the passenger. Yeah. I think you uh, have a lot of explaining. Where are we going? You're not going to believe this. We're going to the sewers. It's not the craziest thing I've heard this Wednesday. And she she drives to the sewers with your directions. So I assume you slide the sewer grate off and you guys get in? Yeah, we all go back in. Okay, and she's like covered in sewage now because it's not really what she's used to. Still wearing the, high heels. The news van is parked, yeah. The news van's parked beside the, the magic, uh, or sorry, not the magic, but the Drew van. And now you guys are all in the sewers. Oh, isn't this just fucking great? With... <laughs> Rachel and Ian. And also now you guys all, like, except for Valentino, because he just got there with Rachel. But you guys, I assume, are all comfortable enough that you took off all your disguises. So Rachel comes down and is like, oh, yeah, I think you really do have some explaining to do. No cameras. I, I uh, don't have any I, cameras. I take off the, the guard uniform. Valentino, what? Okay. Why? Oh, well, I told you Rachel What's... would be on board. Honestly, not my ideal date night. Well, we're supposed to be keeping this is a scoop. profile. You're the person from the news. I... Why are you in? Who the... is Why are you down here? Woman. This looks like the beginning of a porno on the dark web. Well, Valentina, why is she down here? And she's so she's like fainted at this point because the fish like flies through her. Oh, <laughs> this is a lot to handle at once. Probably. Hey guys, I was just trying to possess her. She's a resistant little one. Ew, you're Don't worry, I'll creep. get her. And he's like, he's like above her, like dripping on her, like passed out body. Nope, 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 okay, nope. That's none, of that. none of that. <laughs> we need another towel. Lish, can you not? I'm gonna do roll that? a pers- possession roll. Oh, he can't get. She, he can't get her. So he eventually gives okay, up. Good. Valentina, how did you get here so easily? I thought you were going to prison. For uh, life. Like I, I alluded to it way early but i it's always according to my plan <laughs> uh just gotta ride the waves you know just follow them where they take you 
Yeah, okay. really well, I think you guys. For you a lot. I'll, I'll have a, a little bit of explaining. Ian, can you wait your turn to talk? <laughs> hey, um, don't disrespect <laughs> Ian. He sits down. <laughs> Sorry, he sits just, down. I need to make sure we can like trust he's, Rachel. He's clearly used to this. He shudders like he's expecting you to hit him. Do you trust this this lady? Dad. Oh, I love her. Oh, I never felt love. <laughs> I've <laughs> felt depressing. only the platonic for love that a turtle has fatherly love? for their father. Yeah. Okay, Ian, now you can talk. Me. Thank you. So, you guys... Or t- turtles, eh? I don't. I know this one, but I don't. I don't know. <laughs> know you guys? Well, these are my brothers, sort of. Why? Why do you talk like that? <laughs> like, like what? That's a normal. Oh. Thing. That's how humans talk. Y- yeah. Oh. Okay, he like takes a puff out of his inhaler. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he's just really stuffy down here. <laughs> yeah. My yeah, father. It's stuffy. Ian, um, how how's it going? Okay, look, Ian. Was... Here's your laptop. <laughs> Just in prison. Ian, we have your laptop oh, for you. Oh yes, excellent. Um, he like snaps his fingers. Glasses. Oh, I have. They don't spray it, dude. I can only. You look like green blobs right now. I give him his broken glasses, or do I have his glasses or someone else's? You have two different have pairs Wilson's. of broken glasses. You have Wilson's, and then don't you have like an old lady's I have an or something? Old lady's. Yes. I'm gonna give him. Was that hers or somebody else's? It's mine. I'm gonna give. The old lady's is a thicker okay, prescription. I'm giving him the old lady's one then. Oh, how'd you know my prescription? I'm feeling bad. <laughs> That's really weird, but <laughs> fitting, I guess. <laughs> so he puts them on. He's like, cracks his fingers. Ow! Oof! All right. <laughs> Laptop. And he's like, he starts. He's like, all right, I don't know why you didn't open this yourself. And he like, he puts in the password, and it's like, it, the password is hand scan. Oh. <laughs> oh. It opens up. Pretty sneaky, huh? You're such an asshole. So we didn't need to break you and risk going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> and then hey, he get opens out. up like I'm a. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. A file that says like. Please don't open on it. Oh, nobody would open this so one. Sneaky. Except me. That's my You're dad. Both he opens smart it up. and really just something else. And then he's got to like put his hand on the laptop and it like scans his hand. See, that's a hand scan. <laughs> and it opens the file. So, what are we looking for here? You, have to you find tell us. Out information this about Wilson the guy? New, new Age Research Center. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was you guys are in deep. Oh yeah. But I mean, I heard, I've seen. I mean, yeah. Put it out, I, dude. It should be better if I just pull it up. <laughs> and he pulls up like this video, and it's like he. You can see he's like filming from inside, like a, like just like a closet in the New Age Research Center. Ian's a cuck. And <laughs> he's a he's a cook. He's a kid. I, he's a cook, I think. He, he's a chef. Is that what you meant? Yeah, to say? yes, a cook, a chef. Wilson's like talking to Bruce, and he's like, "Yeah, I think, I think if we are able to get the portal up and running, we'll be able to get to the other side. Then we'll be able to bring that power back through. And then, like his, you can see, like, oh shit, battery low. Yeah." It kind of died there. No. I don't... So I... I kind of looked into this portal situation, and... I've, I've heard... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I don't like meeting new people. It's okay, deep breaths. <sighs> Takes another hit. <sighs> okay. You want a smoke, bro? So I, I can think... give you a cigarette. No! No cigarettes. I think there's some sort of portal that... It's run by the one of the criminal rings. You know, supposedly is run by the criminal ring. I think it's maybe the police force. They seem pretty sketchy. And that portal brings you to some sort of. You guys, you guys seem well informed. I mean, <laughs> um, you guys know. 
you, you, you read a lot, right? Yes. You know, no. like fantasy worlds. Mm-hmm. I just playing this game. When you remember when I had one friend online? I remember that was pretty exciting. Then I ended up being a forty-year-old. But <laughs> Ew. we played a couple of games of <laughs> okay. Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, get to the get to the meat of the story. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Colin really does not like Ian. It had like a magic <clears throat> fantasy world or something, and we was like elves, and I could finally <laughs> okay. breathe. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need I to get, know about the video game, okay? Sorry. I, guess like a, <laughs> I don't mean to be rude. <laughs> Had a long day. I guess when the portal brings you to like a, a similar world. Oh, so I tried okay. to find it. I, I really looked. I really looked a lot. But <laughs> oh, sorry. I just need to slow down. Wow. I, Thank you for sharing. I think we need to get get into contact with those those criminal police officers. That's I. Like, I think that's why they tried to nab me for the illegal reptiles. You can't can't have a snapping turtle in New York. Blah 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 blah. But it's like, it's, you only bit me once when I first got you. I remember that you got you got infected. Yeah, and he he shows his finger, but it's like half a finger. <laughs> <laughs> we go way back. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm not really sure your reason for this, but yeah, that's about all I know about that. If you want to hear about any other information, I have a lot to know. I just, if, sit down for a second, I'll tell you all about how those big skyscrapers got placed around here. Let me tell you, it wasn't being built. Not when I was here. Well, I personally sort of... would love to hear it, if no one else objects. Um... Hey, how's the Rachel doing? Let's just sit here and listen to him. Rachel's fine. I've been I've been wiping her forehead. She got a little bit of uh, some some cold. Yeah, Rachel's sweat like going coming on. too right now. She like sits up like, oh, and then fates again as soon as she sees that she wasn't dreaming. <laughs> it's gonna you take know, a couple her a minute. minutes. Go by. She wakes up. She's again. not used to such a sexy body. Okay. <laughs> yep, that was that was real. What's <laughs> you want to explain what's going on? Yeah, babe. So ask for water, but we're in the sewer. Um, that was offensive. Look, we got a big problem. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm kind of the sexiest sea turtle in the world. Um, and it wasn't. He's like, speak for yourself. Hey, <laughs> he adjusts his glasses. It wasn't uh, his granny glasses. It wasn't by my design. There's actually a big nasty man who's actually not that big. He's kind of skinny. His name is Wilson, and he kidnapped our fake dad, our crocodile dad. Or alligator. At. Oh yeah, we've run a couple stories on him. Uh, he seemed like a pretty good millionaire. Did a lot of scientist research. Well, he's not. Oh, okay. Look he what he did to from me. Wednesday all the way to Sunday there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know I'm sexy, but look at me. This isn't by design. Like, what are you? You're turtles. Yep. Yeah, but sort like. Of. We're turtle ninja mutates. Grotesque. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. I prefer the term mutated. <laughs> that hit Valentino hard. <laughs> oh, mutated. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not really into that kind of fantasy, sci-fi stuff. Well, I'm, get into it, Rachel, because it's, it's real. Real novels. It's real. Yeah, I can. I can see that. I'm not dreaming. She punches herself in the in the head. Yep. Still not <laughs> dreaming. Fuck. So what do you need from me? I mean, I I just report the news. We need you to get us to Wilson. I mean, I don't know where Wilson is. I guess we're dead in the water then, aren't we? Uh, we're not dead in the water. We have Ian. I know where Wilson is. <laughs> Give me a sec. And he, like, starts typing furiously. Like, I have a little scanner set on him. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, How old yeah. are you, man? Convenient. One sec. Please, I'm working. Daddy's working. Don't and say that. Keeps typing. Don't, don't <laughs> He's like say that. A couple of files. Do not say that to us. Da- Daddy's working. Don't say that to both. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's um... platonic, you guys. Oh! Looks like his sicko. signal cut off here. I guess he was somewhere. Somewhere in one of the abandoned. Oh, this is weird. It's showing him. 
he's there, but it's saying he can't pick up his signal. Mm. He's at the... It shows he... It shows he's... We don't, we don't have all day here, man. Like, our, we, he we need to, to the, save somebody. He you went know? to one of, your, one of your warehouses. And okay. He bleeped out for a couple minutes, and then he appeared at the... You guys know that skyscraper story I was alluding I to? Well, this one was probably one of the most detailed stories I've came across. Wilson owned it. It's the New Age Research Center. And I guess that's where he is now. He disappeared for a sec after going to the warehouse, but he's at the New Age Research Center. Well, like, but the New Age Research Center you. got destroyed, bro. Um, well then, maybe the portal is under the rubble? Mm-hmm. Wow, looks like this ragtag team. Rachel, will you come with us? I I feel like I don't have a choice. <laughs> and I don't really want that... What is that, a ghost? A giant... You know, I'm just going to say it as I see it, because apparently I'm not dreaming. It's a giant ghost goldfish. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. very wet. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so if you turn on us, if you turn us in, his job is to get you. Hang on, don't threaten my, my babe. Wow. Okay, so now we're threatening her? But if you don't turn us in, we can be friends. And he's not going to do anything, okay? I wouldn't do anything. Wouldn't do anything. She's, like, clearly scared because you guys are towering over her. Great, and Ian? These big turtles. I assume you'll lead the charge. And that's when Drew, like, steps up. He's like, yeah, we'll fuck you up. (laughs) He's, like, the tiniest little raccoon. She's like, yeah, I'm less scared of him. (laughs) (laughs) Freaking Drew. Ian, you'll lead us there? Yeah, I, um... Mind if we stop in my home, get a couple things? No problem at all, friend. I think I picked up everything that's already important. Here, look, loose I'm, paper. Uh, you know how many months that's taken? And research? I'm... Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I don't need my papers. Please, don't show them to me again. I don't want to... I have a panic attack. I just... It's okay. Deep it's breath, okay, deep Ian. Breath, Ian. I thought you wanted the paper. I, I think the scanner tells us where he is. I think that's all we need. <sighs> okay. You guys, you guys ready to roll? Do you know the fight, Ian? Is that what you guys... Um, I'll lead to charge. I kind of know my shit. Oh, sorry. Oh, my mom's not even around. I don't <laughs> care. I can say fuck. I can say whatever I... <gasps> She's not here, is no, she? No, no, she's not here, Ian. You didn't You're get my charged. mom, too. How old are you, Ian? Okay. Let's no. fuck shit no, no. up. No, you, you should answer. He starts climbing up the ladder of the sewer. <laughs> <laughs> How old is he? Okay. Do you guys follow him? I'm following him, obviously. It's my dad. He just said he's a prison escapee. He's going to need a disguise. Oh, yeah. This is not very well. Dad is through. leaving the pad. <laughs> no, come back. He comes back. I'll... Yeah, what's <laughs> up? First of what's all... What's up, kiddo? Kid, okay. Okay, first of all, how old are you? I'm 14 and a half, turning 15. So in... you're 14. So you're 14. I'm, I'm, excuse me, I'm practically 15. Okay. Practically 15. He's practically but 15, sure, 14. but he's... because he's your dad, you need to tell him what the And you guys are like is. late teens, if you recall. We need to get this man a disguise. We need to do, maybe give him a haircut. You know? So true. So true, bestie. He's got a man bun. Oh, we can fix that. <laughs> no, Not my that. hair. No, we're He's gonna have to get rid of that. Please. Maybe I could put it in a pony. I've got the perfect comb. I can work those okay. knots right out of that head of yours, bro. I haven't had a shower in months. Okay, well, we'll get some costumes on and then let's roll out, fam. They don't let me in the showers. Oh. Not ever last time. <laughs> Holy shit! He starts having a panic attack. He's like rolling on the ground. Wow, way to go, guys. A couple minutes go by as you guys are figuring out your disguises. So he's he's kind of coming to. He's just like shaking, like fetal position. Yep, disguises, that's what we need. I don't need anybody to know who I am. What do you guys got? What do Ooh, we got? Um... We have shears to give him a haircut. I... My cholesterol's a little high, but I think I can have a little slice. And he opens it. Do you think these no dentures slices. will help? Yeah. Yeah. Give him those. And he grabs them and puts them in his mouth. 
<laughs> Yum. Oh, man. But he has teeth. How does that work? It's two rows of teeth. That's it's two rows of funny. teeth. Um, give him the now New York I can for anything. Maybe cut off his man bun with those shears and... Please. Please, anything like that. I don't want. Yeah, come on, guys. Leave the man bun alone. Okay, okay, but... You, yeah, okay. <laughs> if I stick the comb in it, it'll kind of look trendy. Yeah, let's get her to look trendy okay, anyway. Cut it. Let's just, like... Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. I'm not watching. Just cut it. If you cut my skin, I'm gonna need a band-aid. <laughs> so please be careful. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do this for you. Okay, roll sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Twenty one. Oh, frick! Oh, oh no, we're good. Okay, thanks. So I, you guys, you guys give him like a bowl cut. <laughs> it looks great, better than ever. <laughs> <laughs> he says, "So what are we wearing? I don't think the prison garb's gonna be super great." But geez, You've had a bad attitude. Give me your I Heart NY shirt, because I don't think you're loving New York right now. I Heart NY! It's the freaking greatest! Yeah, see? He, yeah, he can give have him it. Your shirt. Except for how it was founded by rhino races from the future. <laughs> My shell was too big anyway. Oh, I don't have a shell. Oh, sorry. Short-term memory loss. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> oh, sorry. I forgot I didn't have a shell. Well, you have a soft shell, so you still have a shell. It's just soft. Okay. Okay, I think we look so great. So he puts it on. I think we Frick all yeah. properly disguised, except for Or should for I say, Matisse fuck yeah. <laughs> I can see his turtle dong. <laughs> what? That no, shit. you cannot. <laughs> this is. What he has no idea about? what human anatomy is. That's my arm. You think I don't know what a woman looks like? <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> I will let you sleep outside. <laughs> In the, yeah, I'll, I'll make you homeless, bro. Well, I think this is going really well. I don't know if that's really what how it's going, but <laughs> turtle dongs, let's go. Hey, let's follow him up. I guess he's the leader now. Yeah, he is. Let's follow our leader. I'm going to give it to him. He's clearly not the leader, but he can have his moment of fame. <laughs> okay. Somehow he found a fedora in the in the trash <laughs> of the of the sewage. Wow. All right, guys, let's roll. <laughs> He, he climbs up the ladder. So, I say we walk on foot. Taking the van, I mean, they know they know how we got yeah, here, we so really the van's a little suspicious. The van off. Wait, um, Matisse, for a disguise, you could put on your deepest dish uniform. <laughs> Is that what you do, Matisse? Do you have clothes on? Um, yeah, I'll wear it. <laughs> okay, so you put it on. Roll a constitution save. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I got a five. Okay, so you guys all get ready, and then you get in the van, even though you're going to go on foot, and you start heading towards the deepest dish. Great. I love it. Hey everybody, it's Super Sensei Wyatt here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Series and Shurikens. Quick shout out to our tech wizard Ralph. If you enjoy our content, we have a subreddit over at r slash sewer club, and you can find us on Twitter at Sewer Sensei or email us at Sewers Shurikens, that's no and, at gmail.com, as we'd love to hear from you. Thanks for listening. Hey, it's Ralph here. Our next upcoming episode is going to be a pretty significant one, so it's going to take a while for it to come out, but we're uh, really excited about it. It's going to be extra long, extra packed full of action, and it's going to mark a pretty significant part of the series. So, if you're enjoying it, send us a comment on pretty much anything. We'd love to see it. Can you just call me Brian? I'm tired of learning y'all's names, so like I said, you're the weekdays. Got that Tuesday? But sir, I'm Monday. God diddly damn it, you just got demoted. And keep that tongue wagging and you'll just make your way down the week.